Oh, she likes that spanking. She likes it till she screams. She screams. She screams. Well, good morning. It's me, I'm Jack Porter. This is the Motor Mogul Channel. Welcome along. So, what are we on today? We are on the Triumph Trident 660. Another bike from Pidcox. Thank you very much to Pidcox for letting me take this bike out. Uh, yeah, it's really cold this morning. It is still only about plus one degree. So, I'm gonna head into Nottingham first because I think this is uh, one of the places where this bike is going to be well it's going to excel I believe in the city environment I think it's ideal as a commuter bike it's small it's fairly slim it's uh, got quite narrow handlebars for filtering it's nippy it's a great it feels great actually it feels really together it's not got all the bells and whistles on it's got sort of budget end um, budget end suspension, budget end brakes, but having said that, it still feels pretty good. Engine's got a nice note to it, it's got a short stubby exhaust pipe. Feels pretty good. If you're looking for a commuter, you know, a, a cheaper bike for commuting on, I'd definitely consider this. If I had, if I had some money, which I never will have, because uh, I'm always spending it on new bikes um, if I had some money for a commuting bike this is uh, definitely worth a look in the second-hand sector so there's no quick shifter or blip or anything like that on this so like I say it is it is a stripped back bike so definitely aimed at uh, you know new riders people who uh, people who've just passed their test want to get on their first big bike and don't want to make a leap into something ridiculous you know like a thousand or you know even a 900 you know this is ideal I'd say those people shorter in stature or not overly confident in uh, riding a bigger heavier bike also also ideal so that suspension's firm but uh, it's like I've said before, when you buy non-adjustable uh, bikes with non-adjustable suspension, it has to cover a multitude of sins on the road. But it feels sporty, actually. It feels, the suspension feels sort of sporty. Not overly hard, not rock hard, but have a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Those brakes are uh, fine, actually. So it's fairly short, it's low, it's light as well, it's really light actually. It's really easy to handle if, if you are, like I said earlier, if you are worried about owning a bike that's a bit too heavy, that you can't touch the floor properly on, you know, if you've only got short legs, or if you're just not that confident, then this, this feels really good. Super easy, super easy to ride. It's smooth, inline triple engine, as you know, with the uh, Triumphs. And this one comes in this lovely Baja orange color matte though, which I'm not a fan of, as you know. So as with most Triumphs, there is a host of extras in the extras catalog. Not an ideal bike for touring, simply because it doesn't have much in the way of a seat at the back. You know, there's nothing really to be able to attach things to. Uh, I suppose if you've got yourself a big seat bag, or throw over panniers, perhaps. But it ain't, you know, it ain't the biggest for that sort of thing. But I think they also do a tank bag, so um, you could have a tank bag as well. Only problem is with a seat bag, it's difficult to wear a rucksack then. No cruise control, as you'd expect. Just rain and road mode as well. But yeah, entry level, entry level everything. So, you know, basic, basic, not too much to go wrong. 
less in the way of uh, electronics, traction control, ABS, um, that's about it really, Ronan, uh, Ronan Rain, Ronan Raid, Ronan Raid mode, road and rain mode only. I am enjoying riding it though, it's, it's a very enjoyable ride. But I was going to go round there then, better not while there's... Um, This is a cheeky little town bike, this one, without a doubt. The fueling feels nice. So this is a uh, ride-by-wire throttle. It's not a cable throttle. Um, and it feels good. I like it. I like it. The responses of the bike are, are really nice. And look at it for filtering. I mean, you can get through anything. Jimmy Cyril. I thought he said Jimmy Savile for a minute. Jimmy Savile and Jack Wheeler. Jimmy Cyril and Jack Wheeler. Jimmy Savile. The Jimmy Savile tram. Well, those indicators self-cancelling. No, they're not. Well, I tell you what, that back brake's got some bite to it. They might be budget level brakes, but they're pretty good. Yeah, see yourself in the windows and it looks really stylish. Super bike, super bike. Well, not a super bike, but you know, it's a super bike. It's a super bike. So the Ergo Triangle is really comfortable. The seat's a little bit on the firm side. But really, your seating position is just optimum. Absolutely perfect. And if this was even your only bike, you know, if you weren't buying it as a commuter, if this was your only bike, you know, and you're only going one up on uh, a, a tour somewhere, ideal. Be absolutely ideal. Nice big seat bag. Couple of throwover panniers as well. Uh, and a tank bag. More than adequate, I'd say. More than adequate. But yeah, the roads are slick and slippery. So, um... Uh, we'll go on the back lanes, but we're not going to go mental. It's a pity because it's been uh, quite nice all weekend. I actually went out for um, a pleasure ride yesterday on Roxy. No cameras, just me and Roxy. It's a great fun little bike. I'm enjoying riding this. It, you know, normally I ride these big, huge behemoth 1200cc monsters that are full of power, you know, they're heavy, they're um, cumbersome, they're a bit scary. And uh, there's a huge section of the population, as I touched on in the GT Pro videos, uh, there's, a huge, uh, there's a huge section of the population that just they don't like bikes like that. They don't want a bike like that. They're just too big and they can't manage them. So riding something like this is really refreshing. It looks great when you see yourself in the in the windows. Yeah, it looks cool. I look cool. I'm one of the cool kids. I've never been one of the cool kids. Hear it, but I don't see it. There it is. Yeah, bike feels light, very light. It's um, going to be easy to handle for literally everybody. It's accessible. It's not wheelchair accessible, but it's accessible. So this bike can also be configured for uh, A2 license holders. So it can be detuned down to, I think it's, is it 48 bhp for um, A2 license holders. So all in all then, a perfect little bike around town, I'd say. Very, very nice to ride around town. So we're going to do uh, a few roads that are a little bit faster. See what it's like on the open roads. I have a feeling that because of the way the engine's been set up, um, it will run out of puff at higher speeds. Because it all it all feels like it's all you know sort of pretty low down. 
So that's got to be at the expense of something, hasn't it? Now, I'll tell you what, it, 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 it seems to be in any gear, it just seems to have power all over the place. For a little bike, it's really quite surprising. And it, all, it copes really well in sort of any gear, you know? Even in six gear, doing 30 miles an hour, it copes really well. And if you open the throttle, it just responds. It's very, very responsive. I like that. Jesus. It really is a flyer. Oh, wow. You could definitely have a shed load of fun on this. For anybody who's just passed their test, who doesn't want to make that leap onto a big, heavy 1,000cc bike, have a look at one of these. This is just one hell of a lot of fun. That acceleration is blisteringly fast. This has to be one of the most fun bikes I've ridden because it's not, you know, it's not big, it's not heavy, it's not daunting. But it is fun. It's not the ideal... <laughs> not the ideal conditions <laughs> for this bike. <sighs> it's a good job it's light and just only dropped it. <sighs> the things I do for you lot. So there it is then. This is the Triumph Trident 660. This one is in Baja Orange. Is that the only colour? Hang on, refer to notes. Baja Orange, Matte Storm Grey. Uh, I'm not a big fan of matte paint, as you know, but I think that looks quite striking, really. I like that. It is nice. It is nice to live with that, I think. The engine, uh, liquid-cooled, inline triple, 660cc engine, as I've already said. Um, 80 brake horsepower, that's 81 PS at uh, 10,250 RPM. Torque, 64 Newton meters at 6,250 RPM. I, I thought, once you got up to about, se you know, the high 70s, early 80s, that engine was going to run out of puff, but um, I didn't actually make it run out of puff even it you know at those sort of speeds maybe it will a little bit over that but i tell you what getting up there it's really quite exciting <laughs> it's got loads of go it's a great little bike um so it just has uh, rain and road mode um electronic throttle control um front suspension uh the shower uh, 41 millimeter upside down uh, separate function forks um they're adequate. They are adequate. You know, they're non-adjustable. Um, as you can see there, they're not adjustable. But um, they do cover a multitude of sins. And for this bike, they work pretty well. So rear suspension is this monoshock. Uh, and it does have preload adjustment. Not sure where that is. I think it's... A oh, it's there. It's that adjuster on the bottom there, look. Front brakes. Um, Nissin two piston calipers with twin 310 millimeter discs. The brakes are wholly adequate on this bike. Yes, they're not, you know, the all singing, all dancing, but they're still Nissin um, and they still work absolutely fine. The rear brake I was really impressed with is the best rear brake I've used on a bike. There's loads of bite to that. Um, and that's just a single piston caliper with a single uh, 255 millimeter. Uh, disc quite simple um, controls nothing fancy nothing schmancy these are you know your direction through your menus uh, and just simple hazards and on off on that side nice mirrors nice big mirrors uh, can see plenty behind so yeah seat height 805 millimeters which uh, is super comfortable super easy for even dwarfs like me to manage 
Uh, and like I said, this bike is a lot of fun. Tank capacity, 14 litres. Fuel consumption, well, it says 60.1 miles per gallon, but I've been getting less than 50 this morning. Net weight, 189 kilos. So, you know, it's nice and light too. It's not a big heavy lump. Optional quick shifter and heated grips. Wish I had the heated grips this morning. With a quick shifter, this would be even more fun. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. It, it would be nice with a quick shifter. Service intervals 10k or 12 months, whichever comes first. Uh, colours, uh, matte Baja orange and matte storm grey. That's these colours. So these are, uh, so the price for the bike with this colour, 7995. Sapphire black, which is the basic colour, 7895. So it's, it's, it's only 100 quid more you know f to have a nice color on it the other color is the matte jet black and matte silver ice which is also um, a nice looking bike and also uh, silver ice um, and diablo red so all those other colors um 7995 the basic sapphire black 7895 traction control can be turned off but abs stays on as per euro 5 regulations we're all used to that uh, competition in this sector, um, Yamaha MT-07 I think is going to be the stiffest competition for this bike um, and the Kawasaki Z650 and also the Honda CB650. There will be others. The one criticism I've got really with this bike is um, I, I don't think the gears are overly short but you do find yourself getting into sixth um, really quite soon. I'm in fifth now you know doing 30 miles an hour but it, it deals with it perfectly well let's just have a look actually see how long those gears really go for well the engine just sounds so different down in those lower gears just giving it lots of throttle Getting the revs right up there. Let's do that again. I'll just show you. I don't know whether you can see the rev counter there. So we're in second. We're doing 24 miles an hour. It's quite difficult to try and get it into your head. This motorbike is a budget end motorbike because it doesn't behave like one. So for someone like me who rides, you know, 1200cc bikes, big powerful machines, regularly, to get on a bike like this and have so much fun, anybody just passing their test, anybody who, you know, doesn't want anything that big, you know, 1200cc, 1000cc or above, because it's just too heavy, can't afford a street triple I, I really wouldn't I really wouldn't worry have a look at this little beauty she's a screamer she's a screamer oh she likes that spanking she likes it till she screams! She screams! She screams! This is the most fun I've had on a bike in quite a while. I have to say, it is. I, I really loved that GT Pro last week. But as far as fun goes, you know, it, I mean, it, the speed and power is really quite terrifying on something like that. Even for someone like me who's, you know, used to riding a big, powerful beast like that, when you actually get on a bike like this, and you can really make a scream, really make it sing. Oh, that's where the fun is. That is where the fun is. It's just got fun written all over it. I don't want to ride the GS back home now. I want to take this. This is where the fun is in biking. It's not in all those big adventure bikes with all their bloody power and weight 
It's in something like this. Why pay 20 grand for a bike that you're never going to take off road, by the way, when uh, you can get something like this for less than nine? ABS kicking in on the back there. It was a bit heavy on the back brake. That that back brake is, like I said earlier, really. It's the best back brake I've. You know, the most prodigious back brake I've felt on a bike. Any bike. Once you get the revs up on this thing, it just flies. It's so good mannered around town, you know, the throttling and everything, the size of the bike, absolutely perfect for commuting. But wow, on the lanes, on the twisty stuff. I seriously thought this bike was going to run out of puff as soon as it got sort of high 70s, early 80s but it doesn't, it really doesn't and you can hold fourth gear like this for ages fourth gear is a fun gear you can leave it in fourth, spank it round the twisties oh jeez, what a load of fun this is I love this I love this bike. I thought it was going to be a bit of a dawdly ride, you know, on, a, on an underpowered machine that was nothing at all like the, the Street Triple. How wrong I was. I absolutely love the Triumph Trident. So yeah, commuting around town, absolutely wonderful bike. Commuting a little bit further than around town, still a wonderful bike. This is going to be the most fun you've ever had getting to work. I loved that GT Pro, but I love this more. Oh my God. I just cannot believe the, the ride, the quality of the ride. The brakes are good. You know, don't be put off by the fact that they're budget, they're entry level. The, this bike is entry level. It doesn't feel entry level. It feels sort of next level. If I had this in the garage sitting next to my GS, I think most days I'd want to take this. The fun factor with it is just incredible. I love it. I absolutely love this bike. Uh, faults with it? Well, I, I think on uh, on a bike where you know it is entry level, I think looking for faults is a little bit unfair. It is. It has exceeded all expectations that I had for it. Yeah, the suspension could be better, but it's entry-level suspension. It's still shower suspension. You know, there's nothing wrong with the suspension on it. Gadget-wise, it's nice to be gadget-free for a change. I would like a quick shifter blipper on it. I would like heated grips on it. It's not just an entry-level bike, is it? If you look at some of the top-spec bikes, you have to pay extra for those as well. You know, that, that, that's not a given that you're going to get those things on a, on a higher spec bike, is it? You know, they're all added extras nowadays. So therefore, it's not shortchanging you in any way, this bike. If anything, you're shortchanging yourself by not having it. And I, I'm not going to mark it down in, in any way at all because uh, it's a winner for me. It's, it's an absolute winner.